Hello guys, what's up? Hope you're all doing great and welcome back to another exciting video. This is the Kawasaki Ninja 1000SX and as the name implies it is powered by a 1000cc engine and one of the coolest features of this bike is the cruise control. Yes, a bike with cruise control. Now before going further make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to not miss any of my future updates. So coming back to the vlog, the Ninja 1000 SX is also called as Z1000S or Ninja 1000 in some countries until 2020 and it is one of the best sport tourers in production since 2011. The top speed of this motorcycle is 245 km per hour and it generates more power and torque than most of the small segment cars in India. Some of the changes between the previous model and this model are a single exhaust, color TFT instrument cluster with Bluetooth, cruise control, riding modes, etc. It is available in two colors which are grey and green and it retails at an ex-showroom price of Rs 11.51 lakhs. In terms of dimensions, it is 2.1 meters in length, 0.82 meters in width, 1.1 meters in height and the wheelbase happens to be 1.4 meters. The curb weight is at 238 kgs which makes it a little heavy for CT riding and it has a ground clearance of 135 mm. Kawasaki provides 3 years or 30,000 km of warranty as standard and in terms of safety it gets ABS, Kawasaki cornering management, traction control and ride modes. Just look at this motorcycle, it looks like an absolute beast in this color. Up front you get this transparent wind deflector which is extended higher than before and the number plate mount and just below it you get these headlight units which are completely LED and you also get winglets just below the headlights. The turn indicators are placed on the fairing and they are LED as well. And coming to the front suspension, it gets 41mm inverted forks with spring preload adjustability up to 120mm and you get dual front discs which are 300mm each. The alloy wheels are finished in black and the tire size happens to be 120 by 70 r 17 Ninja 1000 SX written right there on the fairing. And coming to the heart of the matter, it gets the 1 litre 4 cylinder BS6 petrol engine which produces a peak power of 142 PS and a maximum torque of 111 Newton meters. These numbers are quite high for a motorcycle. And over here you get your preload adjustability lever but before that this is the rider's footrest and the brake pedal. And coming back to the preload adjustability lever, you can increase or decrease the height of the rear suspension by turning this knob. And it has a 140mm of preload adjustability and this is the rear horizontal backlink gas charge shock. And this is the exhaust of the vehicle which is finished in silver and it gets these black inserts and coming to the rear it gets a 250mm disc brake. And these are tubeless tires and the tire size happens to be 190 by 50 r 17 Grab rail right there for the pillion rider and the seat is soft. The tail light is a fully LED unit and so are the rear turn indicators. And just below it you get a number plate holder and a reflector placed right there just at the bottom of the mudguard and you get a sari guard on the left side. And the chain of the vehicle is visible. And coming to the gearbox it has a 6 speed manual unit and it gets a quick shifter as well. The fuel efficiency of the Ninja 1000 SX happens to be somewhere between 9 to 10 km per liter and the fuel tank capacity happens to be 19 liters. Kawasaki written right there on the fuel tank in silver and this is how the key of the vehicle looks and it also gets engine immobilizer. Coming to the instrument cluster it is a 4.3 inch fully digital unit and it shows you the gear position in which drive mode the vehicle is in digital tachometer, fuel level, odometer, average speed, coolant temperature, outside temperature, clock and it also shows you some telltale lights on the three sides of the screen which is the left, bottom and to the right and you can toggle between the twin trip meters and also you can set the lean angle 
also you can set individual lean angles for the left and right and the total time driven battery voltage instantaneous fuel consumption average fuel consumption range average speed can also be viewed and similarly you can toggle between the different drive modes by pressing and holding the button on the left hand side of the handlebar and the different ride modes are rain road and sport mode this is how the rear view mirror of the ninja 1000 s6 looks and it gives you a decent view and on the left side of the handlebar you get the clutch with adjustable lever this is for the high or low beam these are the controls for the instrument cluster and to toggle between the different ride modes pressing and holding the select button takes you into a menu in which you can customize different vehicle settings display date and clock service reminder bluetooth etc and these are the controls you have in the vehicle settings and similarly in the display mode you can increase or decrease the intensity or the brightness of the instrument cluster and you can also change the different type modes to dark or light theme and you also get to customize the date and clock service reminder bluetooth connectivity and you can also change the units from imperial to metric as per your requirement and this is for the turn indicator and this is for the cruise control you can increase or decrease and set the cruise control limit and this is the reset button and you also have a hazard light switch right there which turns on all the four indicators of the vehicle and coming to the right side of the handlebar you get a disc brake reservoir over there and the front disc brake lever is also adjustable and you get a kill switch over here which also acts as a self start switch and that is about it guys now let's listen to the exhaust note of the vehicle <laughs> 